When I was two years old, my mom was diagnosed with cancer. She ended up being sick for 16 years. Her life was just constant pain for the 16 years. She had a hard time um, doing daily tasks a lot of the time, like driving and going to like my school events and my brother's school events and going on dates with my dad and things like that. It was hard for me growing up because I would see like all my friends had their moms and I didn't. And I never, sorry. <laughs> I was just always like angry because I didn't have like a normal mom and I wish that I wouldn't have been. I didn't understand and now that it's too late, I understand. As a little girl, I would pray a lot just for her to feel better. As I became a teenager, I would pray that like this is her final healing, that like there's miraculous healing. I prayed for miracles so many times. Even when she was given like four to six months to live, I was like, you know what? God is able to do miraculous things and he can still heal her. When I was 18, she was diagnosed with terminal cancer. She ended up only living about two and a half months after that. After she passed away, I don't think that I really allowed myself to start grieving until about like six months after. Around that six month time, I started my internship at Asbury as the creative arts intern. And my supervisor was Marty Taylor. He encouraged me to write out some of my dreams. And I wrote that I had always kind of thought about writing songs. I wasn't confident and I really didn't think that I would do well with writing songs. And so I just wasn't sure if I should. Marty came back and said, my challenge for you this summer is to write like one to three songs. Just do it and just take the leap of faith and it might be amazing. I was having a really hard time coming up with it. And then in my devotional one morning, it was talking about the almond tree in Jeremiah. The almond tree was God's promise to Israel that he was watching over them. I realized that's perfect because I can find peace and hope in the fact that he has his hand over me, even though I don't understand it right now. I think that writing the song was a part of my grieving process. I also grew up with my mom saying all the time, like, you have a gift and you should write songs. So it was also just using that to honor her. She always felt like she didn't bring enough people to Christ. And so part of the reason that I wrote this song about her is hoping that maybe if someone is going through something where they're doubting God because they didn't get the answer to the prayer that they're wanting, maybe this song will either bring someone to Christ or bring them back to Christ and honor her like through doing that.